everybody. She's mad. I've got my Pentecost skirt on and everything. Look, the fly, fire of the Holy Spirit. Woo! <laughs> so you've done this cake yeah. especially for Pentecost, have you? Absolutely. Yes. It's exciting, eh? It's the birthday of the church, everybody. We should be celebrating. It's cool, eh? Well, it's certainly an achievement, yeah. You've done a great job there. I'll look forward to tasting that. You're looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we weren't expecting it, were we? <coughs> no. We didn't no. expect anybody's birthday this morning and we weren't expecting a birthday cake or we weren't expecting anything quite as dramatic as this, were we? No. Do you know, uh, do, 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 you not, do you not know what Pentecost is then? So Pentecost, right, is when God spent this, sent this, his, his spirit, a special helper to allow us to do things for his kingdom, um, to do amazing things, things that we perhaps never did before. So someone like Peter, who's in our story, he, like before, he couldn't, like, he was very shy. And all of a sudden, God gave him confidence to speak out loud. So, for instance, let's think of something that you can now do that you never did before? I can ride my bike without stabilisers. That's right, you can ride your bike without stabilisers. What about you, Rosie? Um, well, I can bake the print stuff that I couldn't eat before. Okay, so you can bake stuff that you couldn't before. So you know how the difference between being able to do something then all of a sudden you, you work at something and you have this ability to do something that you can now do that you couldn't before. Remember the time when you were asked to speak it, to, to read in assembly and you were very shy about doing that but you did it. Yes, you somehow found a confidence to do it and the Holy Spirit came to enable us to do things that we couldn't do before. Things that we thought, sometimes things that we thought were absolutely impossible that we could now do. In the story of Pentecost, all these people were speaking in different languages and yet they could all understand each other. It was amazing because they spoke under one language. It was, it was amazing. And, and the Holy Spirit will come and give you, enable you in, in working for his kingdom to do things that you could never do before. How exciting is that? Whoa, I'm so excited. Mm. Uh, maybe this Bible reading will get you a bit more excited. A bit more excited? Is there any Please, possibility no. of that? <laughs> no. See, I, this is Isaiah 43, verse 19. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. <gasps> I'm doing a new thing. Oh, I can't wait to see what a new thing might be that God is going to do in our lives and in our church. It's so exciting, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm, I'm just a bit overawed with all this energy in the room this morning. I wasn't quite <laughs> expecting it as Sunday. Good morning, everybody. Just in case we forgot to say good morning oh, yeah, good to morning. you all. Yeah. Good morning. Today is Pentecost Sunday and we are looking forward to a good day. There's lots to do today. And so at nine o'clock, the TC and we'll be leading uh, a meeting on the Army's YouTube page. Claire, what are you going to be talking about this morning on the podcast? Well, we are going to be talking about why we should be joyful and excited about Pentecost and what that means for the church. What Pentecost coming and the start of the church, what that, what that means for us now. So I'm excited about that. And then at 11 o'clock, uh, Sunday school will be happening with um, Talitha on Zoom, as she normally does. And then at 12 o'clock is our next virtual church meeting, a special one for Pentecost. So if you go to Birmingham City Bill's YouTube page or uh, go onto our Facebook page, you'll see the link there so that you can watch it at 12 o'clock. We brought it forward a little bit earlier today, just... Uh, so you're not having your, your afternoon disturbed mid-afternoon. Um, so there's loads to do today, and, and, plenty to and watch. And the finale at the end, Anna is having a party on Sunday night live worship, so we're very excited about that as well. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about today. There was me expecting Good a nice, day. quiet day, and I've and got, got energy cake. everywhere. And 
Oh dear mate, I think you need to pray just to calm us down if that's possible. Can you do that? Okay. Dear God, thank you that you have sent us the power of the Holy Spirit. Please fill us up each day with the Holy Spirit that we would have the power to live for Jesus. And let his light shine in our lives. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm so looking forward to hearing all the things that the new things that the Holy Spirit is going to do in people's lives for God's kingdom. It's going to be so exciting. Well, I don't think we need energising anymore in this house today. I think we've got plenty of it. Um, but we do look forward to all that the Holy Spirit is going to show us and all the Holy Spirit is going to fill us afresh. And whether it's in the excitement or whether it's just going to be in the gentle, quiet moments where... The Holy Spirit, as he did with Wesley, warms your heart. May you know the Holy Spirit with you today. We do miss you. We thank you for all you're doing. And we look forward to another week of hearing things that you're up to. But in the meantime, from our household, we've got a cake to eat for breakfast by the looks of this morning. So from our household to yours, do continue to stay safe and look after yourselves. And may God be a blessing on you this week. So from us, bye! bye.